Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. My name is John Wilkie. Uh, I'm a retired airline pilot. Um, I had a career that spanned about 45 years. First 13 in the Air Force and the rest in the uh, airline industry. This is the airplane that got me into flying. It was uh, when I was in uh, senior public school that I saw a section of four that had been organized to fly over the schools and we were all let out of school to see them and uh, I decided right then and there that that would be a good way to to spend my life. Um, my mom and my dad were distraught, absolutely distraught. I, I simply loved flying from the moment I climbed into a cockpit and I never lost that love uh, throughout my career. And there were a couple of brothers that he taught how to fly and in return for teaching them how to fly they gave him time on the airplane and he used to take me up with him on a Saturday morning and I looked forward to those Saturday mornings we'd go out to the little airport and have breakfast and watch the planes and then we'd get into one and I'd get to handle the controls and land the plane it was a thrill and I was convinced that I was going to get my pilot's license before I ever got my driver's license. And one of my earliest recollections um, of flying and, and dad is actually hopping into an airplane, a small airplane, and flying to Toronto International Airport with him, um, which was sort of started developing the love for flying. John took a leave of absence the first time to fly with um, Al Nippon Airways in Japan. And we had um, almost two years there. Came back to Canada, worked for Canadian again, and uh, then we went back to Japan a second time and had two years and about four months with a brand new airline, uh, affectionately called Airdo in Japan. As a matter of fact, we, did, we both uh, were involved with barbershop choruses in Japan um, the second time that we went. John sang with the Tokyo Barbers, the men's chorus. If I hadn't been flying with Japan, it would have been the last thing in my, in my mind that, uh, that I would become involved with the Japanese chorus, of course. But um, it, it was a good bit of serendipity. I'm glad it happened, because <laughs> it was lots of fun singing with them. He's growing all the time and, and he has a want to learn more uh, within the chorus and also privately uh, to improve his voice. The nice thing about barbershop to me is that um, you're, you're virtually never too old. He could have been a teen idol if he tried to take on a singing career as a, as a teenager or a young adult. Bring my faithful heart, tear it all apart, God, love me, won't you love me? I, um, I think no matter what I had done after that, I would have, uh, I would have wanted occasionally just to get back in it and, and feel the feeling that I got from that airplane when I was flying it. Well, it looks very familiar in a strange sort of way. <laughs> Wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager, eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent lifting mind, I've trod the high, untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God.
you could do that in this airplane.